Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 in my Too Faced makeup haul. So as you know, the first one I talked about the Sugar Pop palette. And the next one I'm going to talk about the four lippies that I got in the new extension of Melted Lipsticks by Too Faced in the Melted Metals. So just a little bit about the Melted Metals, just like the other ones, they're gluten free, paraben free, and vegan friendly. So these are supposed to be high in pigment. It's supposed to have a metallic finish, so I'm assuming very lustrous or e either very shimmery. With that finish, it's supposed to create more depth. So as you can see, I have one on now. Um, but I'm going to show you all four that I got. I didn't get all eight just because I just couldn't decide on which ones to get, but I decided on these four. So I'm going to show you right now the colors and how they look. So out of the four, here are the swatches that I got. I had Melted Violet, Melted Tutu, Melted Debutante, and Melted Peony. Right now I have on Melted Violet. Of course, Melted Metal Violet. And I'll go ahead and show you all the lipsticks on my lips. That way you can see the actual finish instead of the swatches on the hand. So for the first one, Melted Metal Debutante. Okay. So I paired it with MAC Spice Liner. I know I use this one a lot. Right there. So I paired it with Spice Liner. That one's more like a coral color with a bit of gold to it. The next one I tried on was the Melted Metallic Tutu. That one's this one right here. And I paired it with Subculture Liner, a peachy nude-ish liner. Okay. And this one's more of a brighter yellow pink, so like a more intense peach color. The next one was a Melted Peony. Melted Metallic Peony. So that's like a lighter pink. And I used Max Pearl Longwear Lip Liner in anticipation. That's right there. Don't judge me on my nails, guys. Get it? Right there. Okay? So Pearl Longwear, you'll see it right there. Cute color. And then, then of course, the last one is Melted Metallic Violet, which I have on now. But you'll see the swatch on my lip in the picture. And I paired it with Max Pearl Longwear Lip Liner in a fashion boost. Much better. So that one, of course, is self-explanatory, and that one is violet. As far as my thoughts on the colors, I thought the colors were great. I think it was a great idea to switch up the texture or the finish of the lipsticks, but I have to say, as much as I want to love these, they are very lustrous, but they're more sheer. And I guess if you want that finish, then go for it. These are for you and they are long lasting. So it's better than like a gooey, sticky, long wearing lip gloss. As far as the metal finish, I don't see too much of it. It's more shiny than it is metal. So I was hoping for something opaque with a very like metallic, almost like a frosty lipstick finish. I was really excited about it. And now I'm like mm, on the fence about it. So, um, I say yay if you want a lustrous, shiny, somewhat sheer finish of a lipstick, like a medium coverage lipstick. Um, nay if you're used to wearing like mattes and more opaque colors. So if you're a big fan of the regular melted lipsticks, this definitely has a different finish to it. Anyways guys, I hope I helped you make up your mind. I hope you enjoyed this really quick Se second segment of the Too Faced makeup haul. So thanks for coming by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it. All right. Thanks, guys. Deuce. Bye. Bagger. <laughs>